hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you how basically we can upload multiple files to our google drive folder so we have created a folder inside our google drive it is currently empty we will use the same service account authentication this time i will be using vue.js framework at the front end and in the back end we will use node.js express in the previous two videos i have used the same concept but using react.js angular this time we will use vue.js the functionality will be the same you will be able to upload multiple files you can see the currently if i refresh this folder is empty right here if i try to upload some files here let's suppose i select here five images click on upload and uh, you can see one by one the images will get uploaded it will take some time and uh, at the back end side you will now see all these images uh, the owner is this one and the file size you can see so you can even preview these images these are the images which gets uploaded right here as you can see so we don't require uh, OAuth 2 authentication it is directly po possible due to service account authentication so we will be doing this process so first of all in this process what we need to do uh, as I already told you in the last two videos you need to go to Google Cloud Console and here you need to create a private key so first of all enable the google drive api after you enable that go to library and then here you need to search for the api just enable that after you enable this you need to go to credentials and uh, just create your own service account so there is three types of authentication api key or to client id this is the third form service account so we will be using this authentication so this is really easy you need to give it a name here test drive project and then you need to basically grant the permission here so you can select a role of owner click on continue owner role is selected click on done after you create this service account you need to generate a key here so simply click the pencil icon and go to the keys option and here you need to click create new select json here and click create this will create a private key for you guys and uh, this will look something like this this json file this will be different for you so this will be the json file it will contain these three pro these properties here this is a private key this is a client email and this client email guys what we need to do if you are doing it for the very first time simply copy this email address and wherever you are uploading files simply uh, inside whenever you create a folder click on share and simply uh, share this so you can do this remove ownership you can type this uh, just paste this address uh, let me just we need to grant access here so so simply uh, paste this address whichever is the client email click on uh, send so this will grant the access so this is the most important step after you grant it access to the service account now with the help of this account you will be able to upload images so if you don't do this you will get an error now to get started guys uh, the back end will remain the same all the source code guys if you are wanting the full source code you can go to the description of the video i have given the full source code in the video description so first of all we will basically delete all the source code and uh, just place your key json file inside your backend folder the directory structure is given in the description of the video uh, with the full source code so you can you also need to create a uploads directory so we are using four dependencies course express google apis and malter which will actually upload files to our uploads directory so first of all guys we do need to create our uh, express server where we will basically this is the same code guys that I used in the previous video so that I will not write once again you will see we are basically importing all these dependencies and uh, after this we are just uh, initializing our malter dependency so here we are telling malter on which location we are storing files so we are storing files inside the uploads directory so we have created this uploads directory here and inside callback we are giving a unique file name every time 
whenever the file is uploaded. So we are instantiating a new instance of Malter. We are providing a storage object that we configured right here. We are applying the course middleware, which is you can see that we are requiring it. After this, we need to make this post request. So first of all, let me start this server on port 5000. We can say that console log app is listing on. So now in the second directory, guys, this is a backend directory, and uh, this is here. You need to create a new Vue.js project, and uh, let me now create write the full source code for the Vue.js project. If you, Vue.js basically contains uh, three sections. First is a template, which actually contains the HTML code. So for this, we will basically have a heading which is uh, upload multiple files to Google Drive and then we will basically have an input type of file and we will be giving a reference to it of file input and we will put, say multiple and uh, we will also bind a on change so whenever it changes it basically will uh, invoke a method which is handle file select so just do this handle file select I think yeah I made some error right here why I think it is saying that this function is not defined okay we need to create this function so that's why the error is there and also we will have a simple button which will say that upload we will also be having a at the rate click so whenever you click this button what should happen we will basically have upload files so these two methods we do need to create guys and uh, as you all know inside Vue.js we have the script section which will actually contain the javascript code so here you will say export default and this is the data that we define for our application return and this will all only contain a files array which will be empty by default and then basically we will have a this is for the data here put a comma and then comes the methods so here we will define the methods guys first method we will define is handle file select and this basically takes an event here so what we can say this dot files is equal to array from and then we will say event dot target dot files that's all so this is a one line of code that we are writing for this function so whenever it changes you will see that and also now we need to define this which is handle files or sorry upload files so whenever we click this button what should happen so you will define this method upload files so here we will compare guys this dot files dot length if the line length is greater than zero in that case multiple files is selected by the user in that case guys what we will do form data we will construct new instance of it and then we will use a for each loop and for each file we will append this so we will say that form data dot append and we will append files with the file name as well so you can see that we are appending the files with the actual file and the file name so after this guys we will basically make a fetch request to upload this file so we will simply say http localhost 5000 slash upload and we will make this post request in the backend server after this so method is post and the body will be form data so this basically returns a response guys and inside this response we do need to convert this response to json and again basically it will return a, a promise we will have the data and simply we will say in the console that files uploaded files uploaded successfully and we will have the actual files inside data that's all so if any sort of error take place in that case we will have the error we will say console error error uploading files 
that's all so this is all the Vue.js code guys which is required for this application so if you now see inside our localhost 8080 you will now see this choose file button and now we do need to create our index.js post request so we will simply say app.post slash upload and here we will say upload.array files we will use the array method to upload multiple files so this will be an async method so right here guys first of all uh, inside this method we will again use the try catch block so inside try catch block we will basically make a new authentication which is google auth dot google auth and here we will provide the key file which is key dot json and here is the scopes Scopes are nothing but guys what's the information that uh, required so HTTP sorry s google apis dot com slash auth slash try this is actually the scope here after this guys we will create a new instance of this google drive we will pass the version number of the api so version 3 we are using and auth so this basically contains some methods guys the google drive api so uploaded files we will create a variable which will be empty by default and then we will use the for loop let i is equal to 0 i less than request files dot length i plus plus so for each file basically we will be iterating through so this files contained inside the request object request files dot length for each file here guys we will extract the content of the file using request files i and then we will basically upload the file await drive files create so we will use this create method of the sdk and this basically accepts an request body object which basically an object it contains three properties the name of the file and the mem type which is an extension either png jpg or mp4 avi and this contains a th third property guys if you want to store it in a specific folder you need to copy paste the id of that folder so we have created this folder id so this is actual id of the folder so simply paste this id and uh, now the fourth one is the actual media so media is an object which contains body fs create read stream file dot path and lastly guys after all the files are uploaded we will simply push uploaded files push and response dot data and lastly we will basically send this to the Vue.js client the files uploaded files so that's all this completes the application guys so if you now test it out inside your browser so what I will do I will remove all these files So basically if I now refresh the folder you will now see there will be no file available so if I try to basically upload uh, uh, 11 files and one by one you will see basically it will get uploaded it will take some time because you are uploading 11 files at a time you can see that So this is really easy guys without having to uh, go through that uh, tedious process of showing the login screen to the user and then obtaining access token you can directly use service account to basically upload multiple files to your google drive very easily so you can see that all the files are uploaded so all the source code guys is given in the description please hit that like button share the video and also comment on this video and uh, i will be seeing you in the next video